only that, there are people who claim to know him, but don't live in it. 1 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 11 speaks, but now I am writing you that you must not associate with anyone who calls himself a brother, but is sexually immoral or greedy, an idolater or a slanderer, a drunkard or a swindler, which such with such a man do not even eat. So now we are talking about someone who calls themselves a brother. They call themselves a brother, meaning they're in the church, but yet they live a life that is of Satan. They're sexually immoral, greedy, idolaters, slanderers, and drunkards and swindlers, saints of God. How many of us know people like this, right? And we want to call them hypocrites. Let me back it up. How many of us are these people that live like this, yet we're in church and we're amen and in hallelujah every Sunday? And according to scripture, we are not even supposed to eat with these people. We're not supposed to associate with these people. Saints, if you are these people, you should be kicked out of the church. Pastor, here you go, kicking people out of the church. Well, if you're not going to live according to what God has called us to, let's be real. If you're not going to be obedient to God's word, then why are you even associating with worshipers? Well, the Lord needs to do a work in me too. Yeah, then why aren't you letting him? And the work doesn't just begin on Sunday. The work doesn't just take place on Sunday. If God's going to do a work in you, then you need to let him. Or get away from people who are trying to get somewhere. Amen?